Back up, back up. It's here. <laughs> Thought you had them. Oh, what did you just cut yourself? You're bleeding. Yeah. And your feet. I don't know what that. Mm. Hi, buddies. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't scoop tonight. I wanted to wait until I had reinforcements. Okay. Oh. I shall provide reinforcements properly this time. Oh, sit by me, Ruby. I missed you today. Oh, what a purse. Oh, I missed you, but first I gotta say hi. My baby boys. Uh, Mr. Tricks was such a little lover this morning. He was jumping on my shoulders. More or less. Yes, he did. I have photographic video proof. You didn't see it? I saw you go. No, you didn't see the actual <laughs> one. Oh, I missed it then. Yeah, oh, Jesus. He's just like you're No, around. I specifically told you he did. Hmm. What time did I say it happened Ten thirty eight. I'm not sure. I went I'm not sure how that Chinese food sat with me tonight. Mm -hmm. Hey David. Wait, have you guys been watching these guys just ooze around the room? And then beat each other up and then ooze some more. Why don't you just show me the video proof? I oh, am. Yeah. I'm going to crack the window. Wait, I'm almost there. John doesn't believe me. See, he was like all over me. Yep, I just think he got the assist. He didn't. I'm going to show you. Are you watching? Just be patient. Trillian was doing this tonight, too. She was sleeping. Yep, her hind paws were going. Oh, I have a gift for them. Okay, you are almost there. Look how much he loves me. He's like, hi, mom. Pay attention to me. Yeah, like, tippy, 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 your phone. Okay, you're <laughs> watching. It's coming up. I'm watching. I've been watching. Nope. Let me take his picture. He's trying to be super cute. I'm still watching. Mm -hmm. Keep watching. And here we go. There we go. See? From, okay. He kind of front, just front paws. Yeah, he was like. Oh, you say he climbed up. I, I thought he No, I made it very up. clear on my shoulders. <laughs> and then I wanted to take a picture, so I was trying to get him to do it again. Anyway, he did climb up on my shoulders. His front paws, and then he was rubbing his head all over my head. Julian's birthday happened four minutes ago. It's happening starting four minutes ago. She's six years old. It's been that long. That was my 42nd letter. Oh, what? You said that I he hopped on the shoulders and wrapped his legs? Wait, what? What did you say? Twix was being very needy with Jessica. Hopped on her shoulders and wrapped his legs around her arm and was rubbing his head. Yes, well, he was. But he only put his front paws on my shoulders. And then he was rubbing his head all over, and then he was, like, hugging my side and my arm. So, kind of right. 
we should post a video so we know that. <laughs> Bleep. Oh, yeah. oh geez. He's like, don't point at my blip. Anyway, this guy was super needy, and I think now that he's close, like more comfortable around the house, he's like, okay, I can get some loves. But then also he was, uh, there was no extra food today, so I think he was hungry. Look at him. He's funny. It was B's birthday today. Friday. Oh, Friday. Yeah, it was yesterday, now it's Trillian's birthday, and then tomorrow will be Nakia's. You're such a goofball. Boop, boop, boop. There's so much muscle. There's so much muscle on these guys. Doo, doo, doo. I got you guys a gift. Let me go get it. I'm going to take the bows out too. Thank you, dear. Okay, I got this one. You got you square meat. No meatloaf for them. I'm going to take them with me. Not tonight. We didn't, um, we had separate dinners tonight. Yeah, it's me and Chris has spaghetti and just had um, Chinese. She has one client that she still does appointments for because it's a, it's a medical thing. Does some key fluids and it took two minutes to get it done. Such a good boy. Got you guys a gift. I got you an egg. Is it a tree? See the egg we got from all the best pet care today? It's wool. Keeps looking at the green bag. I think they all, all three girls are going to have an extra big breakfast in the morning. Because they all need it. Yeah. Birthday breakfast. And you didn't get a birthday breakfast. No, oh, it's not my fault. Well, I think you do the morning. <laughs> We're all in here. He's like, but the kids go out there. He's like, my, he knocked his, he pushed, he rolled the spring up against the door, then he started meowing. He's like, I have to set the spring free. Somebody had to pop on here and he came by and like, hiss, snack. Then she walked away with her, then she walked away with her tail up. Who did? He. Pathetic. I love this one, like dual lines. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love the lines on his face and his eyes. You love the lines on his face like what? Oh. 
just marking this. Yeah. Come with. I'll go wash my hands. Yeah. I plan to take a birthday pic so I got very cute ones of Trillian. Now I just need ones of the other girls. Big catch. No catnip. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in, I said. Can I scout coming in? Sorry, I was distracted. I was like, I was thinking that this actually looks like a, an egg. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> you, you know what I said it was, right? Yeah, an egg. Oh, okay. I'm just marveling. It's like I actually managed to make it look egg shaped too. It rolls like an egg. My turn. In fact, John took a couple of um, pictures of Jillian tonight already. They're cute, but I don't know if they're the most flattering. <laughs> it's, oh. it's an angle that I normally don't get of her, the underside of her arms. They all have white stripes running along the lane. Oh, no, stop that, stop that. Give it a super kicks. Super kicks. They want to be out on the balcony. They love the balcony. We when the last two days when we blipped them out, they haven't um they haven't really seen anyone other than Trillian and Eddie and Ruthie here and there. But otherwise, when they're out, everyone's put away. B gets triggered if she sees them. And that's not a good thing. And then they chase Penny and uh, Nakia. Oh, they like, oh, they got the real toy coming out. Get out of the way. They didn't get any play in this morning. Well, they, other than they were actually around in the house unsupervised for a good hour and a half to an hour. Well, about an hour. And they did very well. We're thinking about letting them out on one of the nights unsupervised with everyone put away. So they can practice being big kitties, please. Uh, are we thinking about adopting them, Emily? No. no. We have we have eight cats right now. Remember, the goal of fostering yeah. is to, to adopt them out, oh. not to adopt them. They're really great cats, though. If we didn't have so many, I would for sure. But they're going to be a handful. They're going to need a lot of attention. Um, they need routine. To be honest, it wouldn't be fair to our existing cast to bring these two guys in.
They only get along with or tolerate about half of our cats. <laughs> Did you see what I just said? <laughs> Yeah, they have to lock all the food away. Yeah, eight is enough. Oh, I love that. That's a good name for ours. Eight is enough. Um, a lot of, they're really smart, so they're going to need a lot of time and um, it's keeping them busy. So they're really good at entertaining themselves too mm -hmm. when they're not sleeping. But I think they could be super um, destructive if they if they're not mentally stimulated. They have the potential. I don't know if they could be. They have the potential to be. That's with any cat, right? Well, they're lean, heavy. And smart. Did what did you hit when you come in the door? I know you said ow. I don't know. I don't remember. Was it because your toe is bleeding? Or what was that? I got no idea. I don't recall hit kicking anything. Mm -hmm. I might have had a cat land on it though. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Just did. He's got the bee baby. Is eggs the same thing? This is a baby. <laughs> Tooks is thinking cute. They're not Lizzie smart. I don't think any cat besides Lizzie is Lizzie smart. He's not that I've seen. And I've seen a lot of cats. Lizzie is the Einstein of cats. You know, to be honest, Twix gets the cutest look on his face when he's sleeping. He gets the cutest look on his face when he's in the box. And, you know, everything. He's just got a cute face. Speaking of the box, I think I will go. Nope, I'm not going to go. Are you going to watch more of the show? Hmm? Are you going to watch more of the show? I finished the episode. Oh, you're all caught up? No, I'm not caught up. Mm -hmm. Like four more episodes in the series. Mm -hmm. Season. Look how handsome he is. Are you just not going to play? You're going to sit over there? He's taking his turn. They do that. He's pouting. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for his girlfriend B to show up. They have an interesting relationship. Well, that Annie was named after a, a scientist. The whole letter was named after a scientist. Uh, being called Einstein doesn't make you smart like Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> She's downright beautiful, though. Tesla's it's like I, I, Heidi has always shunned Mama until fairly recently, and she started to snuggle. 
Did you turn that upside down? Mm, I don't think so. That might have been one of the thuds I heard. The ball ring is upside down. He was playing like this about an hour ago. Just flailing around. You're so cute. I love how he has that like little patch right in his chest. Mm -hmm. His hair is coming in. Yeah. Gosh, break those are probably mostly coming in. <laughs> Gonna be here for a while. Yeah, these guys, we expect we have to have them for another month because that's at least how long it's going to be before Homeward Pet opens back up. And we'll see what Jay Ensley does with our stay at home shelter in place thing, Midgety. Yeah. A month from now is mid May. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's just look at something. Yeah, looking at Lizzie and Shelby, uh, you would think that Lizzie's kind of on the heavy side. Um, it's it's and Shelby's not. They're they're exactly the same body shape. Are you tired tonight? The CLO you mean adopting up by appointment only? One of them, I think one of them was doing adoptions, no touch adoptions. Well, the Maine Society announced that a week ago. I don't really, I haven't been able to. I don't know what they're doing though. No. Here's the box. Yeah, Shelby has fluffed out. Also, look at uh, Willow. She was kind of like a short, medium hair when she got when she was here, and now she's definitely a long. Okay, just pee. Yeah, I don't know what this that Seattle he game's doing. Any word on homework about their move? No, they won't hear anything. They don't have to move until September of 2021. So they have time. Well, rel relative. I think. I'm sure this is putting setting them back. I'm sure they're not looking at places or I I don't I don't know. Whoa, no, what's this doing out? Hmm? Someone dragged out another one, mister, when we weren't looking. 
Did you drag this out? Yeah, I did. Whoops. We gotta wash that now. He totally dragged this out. Yeah, I need to go and, um, I don't get their posts anymore in my news feed. You know, it's one of those things that is, like, left out. But Shelby and Lizzie, I need to go back and look at them. <laughs> that was funny. Um, let's see, EIS, who's that, um, ghosties, I don't know who that is, and then how is B and Ruthie doing, uh, oh yeah, the other night was pretty bad, not last night, the night before, um, we've had, um, we've had them separated since that night, so they've been separated, and which is, you know, a lot of door opening and closing for some of the cats that aren't don't have to be separated, and you know, um, some of them getting cooped up for for too long in certain rooms. So we're just managing that. John and I are sleeping in separate areas because of it. So, Lib Libby, my cat, Libby's loving it. What your brother? So they, tonight they had, we let them out. Um, they could intermingle if they wanted to for about, I don't know, what, an hour, hour maybe less. But they didn't see each other. They were doing separate things. B is finding appreciation for the catio's uh, light, especially at night with the moths. <laughs> but so does Ruthie. Ruthie was uh, locked up basically for just under 24 hours downstairs, and, and it's by no means a hardship. She's got everything down there that you can imagine. So today, when we let her up, she literally spent from, I don't know, noon today until what, 6.37? Out on the catio. She didn't move. <laughs> she was like, I'm not moving because I don't want to get locked up. <laughs> so she had a good long day out on the catio. And B, unfortunately, that meant that B was in the master during that same long time frame. I think part of it, I should have been on, on Ruthie and let B out. That's good. Or no, that was time with the boys. Yeah. Um, you know, Ruth, like, Ruthie and Eddie were out in the catio, I don't know, at least from noon to 5.36. When I carried Ruthie downstairs, I made sure not to touch her bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciated it. Well, we told her friends and family, should we tell them to? Uh, I think most of them know, but yeah. Well, uh, we just, we've been talking about issues, um, scheduling issues with our wedding with due to COVID-19, and we decided to push it back to next year. Instead of October 20th yeah. this year, it'll be October 19th, 2021. And but we'll have a try to have a civil marriage uh, in early June or civil marriage June <laughs> civil service civil service yeah we'll civil try to be thing. civil with each other yeah. during our marriage maybe not tonight because I'm a little cranky but <laughs> yeah I have no updates on Gaia her her owners don't have fo um, phones or computers uh, they have like a regular landline phone but no computers or anything like that i did instruct show her how to properly spank gaia though and i showed her pictures of my ipad of all her babies yes so a civil wedding hopefully in the next couple months as soon as everything opens up. It'll probably be something really small. Mm -hmm. Me, her, probably her dad to actually do the officiating. And then we'll probably we'll 
record it. Let's see what we can do. These eyes are big. Look at that tail. I love how he holds it. It's like a ponytail. Does big, I mean, uh, would they get matched tonight? I don't know the answer to that. And no, because last night you came downstairs. Yeah, that's right. Though. She had it last night. That's right. We were thinking at first that we would just escape out and and uh, scrape by and things would be opening up in the fall, but then for things once the uh, timeline started becoming more clear about when things would be opening up and antivirus testing and, and with most of our guests and the vulnerable area category, we just couldn't do it. Yeah. Feels good to get it. To make that decision, and I think it was the right one. It's just it you're disappointed. Definitely the right one. Yeah, yeah. You felt good. Yeah, it feels really good to make the decision. I think, uh, as Eugene said, at least we're uh, we're just we're, we're happy to be getting married, and hopefully in the next couple of months. So, and you know, we made a big deposit on it. I don't know if we hadn't made a big deposit, maybe we would never have it. But I'm glad that we're going to, because I think our, our our families are very excited too. Our parents would kill us if we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a friend on Face, uh, a friend that tonight had offered to. Uh, she's a, she's in the law system, and she said she knows some some uh, judges and can give referrals to us. So if my dad's not able to get up here, then that's definitely an option. Um, and, and I think both of us are pretty quiet and. Anyway, like we didn't want to make a big deal out of it, so it feels good. Olympia is now called Sweetie because they wanted to, uh, they wanted to name her after her personality. The kind of cage would not come back. Um, I actually didn't, haven't really used it for pregnant moms in a while. I tried with Gaia. Um, she just pretty much said, nope. And... It was, to be honest, it was falling apart. I've had it the entire time I've been fostering. And the last couple of times, it was mostly used for training, litter training the kittens. But the mamas like to give birth over here in this corner here. So, Lizzie, we don't have any gathering. Well, we do. Is it like... Well, it's a shelter in place. Is it no more than two people right now? I don't. Or, I don't it's know. No, it's no more than your family. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. No intermingling of families or friends or anything. Yeah. So, so that's ours, and we're just hoping. Uh, hoping sometime in June or July they ease up a little bit. And again, it's okay if we can't have. We were have, planning on having obviously John's brother's family there, and then my good friend's family. But it's okay if we can't make that happen. Um, and then the place was, so one of the reasons why we picked the place in Tennessee is we really, really loved the person who owns and runs it. Her name's Regina. And um, yeah, I just emailed her on Sunday at like, oh, I don't know, it was like one o'clock my time and by 3.30 my time in the morning, we got a response back saying, you can pick any date, Monday, uh, sun, Tuesday through Thursday in October of 2021 it's it's yours and um and she's like and give me the vendors you want me to contact and i'll do it for you and so it was really that that simple it was more john and i sitting down and saying what day do we want to do it and uh so she was amazing everyone's been amazing even the restaurant for the post brunch has been amazing the cabins that we were gonna get it was just the only person i haven't heard back from is the hotel room bookings but um yeah, it was really that easy. I think they all expect it. Um, I don't think there's going to be much going on down there.
Well, I still have that large format printer, and I need to print something. I guess I could do two banners, one for homework pets, one for perfect pals. For what? Um, big banners off of the off the big printer. And where would you put it? Um, probably like right there. Yeah. Stick it out loud. I mentioned uh, decorating the kennel with the with the clone fosters. I did huge prints of Star Wars clone factories and put them up behind the walls of the kennel. Cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, we felt like I, it took John a little bit to understand. Like, I really, we talked about doing a courthouse wedding even back in January when I got back from, from the UK. And John's concern was, is that, oh, well, is anyone else going to come to our wedding if we're already married? And thankfully, his mom was like, yeah, people do it all the time. And, um, but I think it, for us, it feels like, I feel like we're doing everything twice. Like, I didn't like the save the date magnets that we had. And then now we get to do new save the car, save the date, resave or whatever, change the date. And I love our new decision on that. I get to find another dress. <laughs> and then when we go and do it in Tennessee, I think it'll be a lot, a lot of pressure off of us. Don't you think, dear? Yeah. And um, so I'm just, I can't believe that I have a wedding dress that's going to be sitting around for two years. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Lizzie. We really, I mean, I just, the place has, where we're going to get, end up, you know, having the celebration in Tennessee right off the bat when we first met her. And we just knew it was, she was amazing. No, I don't have any updates on Serafina. There's some, you know, I, I extend an offer for any adopter to join an alumni group, which is reserved only for adopters. Not everyone takes it. Lorraine creaks from the kennel cage. The kennel cage was like, it was the last man standing in this room, I have to say. Like they, when they were laying the floor, they were moving it from one side to the other because John really did want to hold on to that. Yeah. Desperately, because it has so much sentimental. But I think once the room was done, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, this is not going to fit here anymore. Yeah, there was no way to get it out of the room either. It was all taken apart, and once it was taken apart, it was it was pretty obvious that it was it was it was ready to go. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was like we have no idea how many people are asymptomatic because they're not testing the healthy looking people. Well, for all we know, we could have been asymptomatic and done with it. Yeah. My mom also has, that was the other thing. My mom has been so looking forward to the wedding. She already has her dress and it's already been altered and like tailored to her. And I felt really bad when I had to talk to her about it, but she was super supportive and she's like, well, I'll get to wear it at some point. And so I think she put it in a plastic like hanging bag and or a garment bag. She got a garment bag for it. My uncle, one of my uncles was like, what was super disappointed about it too. Cause you know, he was happy, excited to see all the family. But then others were like, oh, now I think I can actually really come in October of 2021, you know, be more settled in their current jobs. But I was, we were really worried that people wouldn't have the money to travel anyway yeah. because of the economy. And so it just didn't make sense. Oh, the Roosevelt ship. Yes, John and I have been following that. That's terrible. Yeah, it's bad. It's I'm glad it's like the guy who took um, relieved the captain of his of his position. He he resigned because for his callous words to the crew. I mean, the crew was chanting the captain's name when he disembarked, and yet, yep, that's a problem. It's like we yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm, I'm done with that. Yeah, well, the captain ended up getting sick. There's so many things right now out there. Like, today was especially a bad day for me. I've um, been pretty positive, but today was a really tough day.
Yeah, it's like we got four or five of the of the cat balls of um, first style of mask, and we got four coming in tomorrow for a new style. There's more instead of having a pleated one, it's more of a face thing. And I've been looking at on bandanas. I need to stop by the Harley shop to see if they still got any in stock. Wow. There was a um B Beep said anywhere from fifty to eighty times the number of cases have been current. I believe it. So sad. Yeah, uh, TJ, I've been wa I I watch both. I watch four cams um, continuously, and it's, uh, Shelly's is one of them. In fact, I've been helping her with some of her tech issues. Hugs to you, two ghosties. I, Morticia, I'm not sure how I haven't heard anything from them. Um, I know they're in California, and I haven't seen any posts on Morticia's. Um, and I'm surprised they never really got another cat because, um, you know, they, at, when I first met them, they had like three cats and that they always had multiple cats. And I think Morticia, I was just really happy with her. I thought the characters in the Left 4 Dead game was actually immune, but, eh, nothing. Another one. Yep, you're gonna talk. You're targeting the camera, aren't you? No. Yeah, Marcia really fluffed out when she was like, really got really good food, and she just really fluffed out. Beautiful girl. This is starting to hurt my back sitting here. You. He's trying to go under this. I know, but I want you. No. Oh. oh. Don't cave. I'm not gonna cave, dear. It's almost time for bed. Imagine John and I having kids. They'd be running into the room every two minutes being like, it's okay, and he'd be like, let them cry. <laughs> I think the front, the Dead Island is, is virus games. <laughs> Dead Island is supposed to be getting us finally get the sequel. I know, beep beep. I remember, I remember seeing something like that too. Baker. What was weird about her is like when I was. I watch her on the, on the Enterprise sleeping, and her belly was making movements like a kitten was moving there. So, yeah, I, I was convinced that she had a kitten. And then I saw, I watched a kitten napping, and her belly was doing exactly the same thing. I was like, oh. Yeah, things, yeah, 
Yeah, uh, Danielle, things will ramp back up again with the number of infected after they start opening things up. They're hoping, they're trying to, the whole thing of flattening the curve is spreading out the infection so that the medical system can manage it. And that's why we're going to be wearing masks for the foreseeable future when we're outside. We're just hoping by the time the wedding comes around that well, there'll be some kind of vaccine out there. That's the one of the reasons why we tried to do it that far out. Yeah. Yeah, but and that's and we also thought that there would be we thought that there would be another rebound in the in the fall as well. And that's one of the reasons why we want to try to do it as soon as things kind of ease up here in the area. Because um, then we think it's going to close right back down. Meow. You want me to meow with you? Meow. Meow. Did you guys not get enough to eat today? Oh, is that what happened? Daddy yeah. didn't feed you enough? I stiffed him a little bit to let be him a little bit huh? more. Do you want me to give you guys a night night snack? Do you want me to give you guys a night night snack? You want a night night snack? And by stiffing, I mean like oh, just a tiny bit. <laughs> you want a night night snack, so that's what's going on? No, it is what's going on. Here they need night night snacks. Dana, what country are you in? I guess I can have a night night snack. Yeah, we're gonna open a can and everyone in the house is gonna be all over all right, it. So we can open it in here or you can give them the kibbles. Or the treats. Yeah, they can have some kibble. But you know they like the... Oh! Yeah, because you think about it, they've been having like at least another extra bowl to a bowl and a half every night, and they didn't get that tonight. Mm. Yeah, I clean out everybody else's bowls. Oh, see, I go do that for you. I don't want you to go to bed with the hungry tummy. I remember one time my mom made me fish sticks, and I hate fish sticks when I was a kid, and I wouldn't finish them, and she wouldn't let me have anything else to eat, and I went to bed hungry. I happen to mean many, many, many <laughs> It so wasn't now, for fish sticks that I actually liked them. I don't like fish sticks at all. Okay, Dad, can you help me? I'll bring back some food for you guys. Hey, buddy. You want to purr? No, no, we're going to stay in my lap. You smell nice. You got nice smelling fur. Let's do the upside down scratch. He's like, I'll do the upside down twisty or over scratch. He's got a pretty face, pretty eyes. He's starting to purr. Even though he's trying to get down and I'm manhandling, manhandling him, he's enjoying it. I got one of them. B already ate some of this. She jumped up and got some. Tracy said that these guys are always hungry. They did a stand up and a sit down for dinner. Did they? <sighs> They're hungry. Look at them. It looks like you didn't feed them tonight. That's how they eat up. <laughs> you can go grab a second set of bowls and they'll eat just like that. 
They were starving. I want you to be able to sleep tonight when I'm downstairs. This is her first foster litter. You have to. No, <laughs> they're babies. It's, they're not my first babies. Be like this kind. This is the kind we haven't had in that so long. Which one's this? It's a tiki cat. Oh. Yellow, I got some today. You guys making fun of me when I left? No. The problem the U.S. is having is that we keep putting people that have no medical or scientific background in charge of medical and scientific stuff. Mm -hmm. And our company, our country is run by a businessman. So yeah, of course he's going to try to get the businesses open. Yeah. No matter, you know, no matter the cost. Yeah, totally. See, they all agree. They haven't been fed in days. Everyone's saying. <laughs> this is the Tiki Cat Yellow one, the Ahi Tuna. We have not given them this kind before. Yeah, so I've been, I've, I've had really good luck with salmon and sea bass for cats that are a little bit more picky. These two will scour these bowls. Yeah, Libby has been really happy with her sleeping downstairs. And every time I went down there, Libby's on top of her. Yeah. She's curled up. Yeah, she, um, she's been in pig heaven. It's very sweet. When I was watching TV tonight, she came up and curled up on me. She hasn't hit that much today. She did. She didn't hide at all, but she was. Um, so she too was uh, stuck downstairs for almost twenty four hours, and she was the one this morning that was asking to come up, which is so funny because she never, we never, she never comes up and hangs out. But today she's like, "Mom, mom." She does as long as nobody can see her. Yeah. So then she came up into the kitchen with me and hung out there, which was shocking. And then a couple of times today when it, when she was allowed up, she was I could see her running up and down the stairs. They're gonna be all quiet and they're gonna sleep really well now. You're welcome. I think we got away on the 20th, so that's Monday. Yeah, Monday. Is your belly finally happy? Huh? I've been hungry since 10 30 this morning. I think it's time for the. No. Well, it'd be nice if they, we didn't play so we can wind them down. They're already wound down. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Tomorrow, Daddy doesn't have to work until the evening, so maybe you can get some time to help play. Oh my god, he just ate! And he just farted. Oh my god, his poor dummy! He's got a big belly! I know, but it's gonna get- don't- he's just ate! You don't want me poking your belly when you just ate! Jeez! Sometimes you're like, oh, I'm too full, I can't, don't touch me! You, if you get bit, you just rip. He's purring. He is purring. Do you have tuna breath?
eat daddy's food. Beat. Hey, I didn't know we had any viewers from Ecuador. Welcome. I'm glad to help you forget things. Welcome. That's one of the points of the camp. So people forget their worries. <laughs> Did I move it too much? I think so, but we'll see. <laughs> they have hollow legs. <laughs> Very true, and they got four of them. Plenty of room to store food. They are typical teenage boys. They have been eating us out of house and home. Yeah. Now, one thing about B is she's now officially in her terrible twos. She's two years old as of, as of uh, Friday. Well, she's coming into her uh, social maturity, too, which is when most cats start getting having behavioral issues. Yeah. Just a little bit too much. Just a little. That's good. Ah! I don't see what it is, but I'm. Uh, looks like I'm ahead of the TV. See that boy? Hmm. My view is ahead of the TV. I see the move first. That was num nums. That was good num nums. I think they're very happy with those num nums. Oh yeah, that's perfect amount. Are you having fun in your cube? You guys turned it up. I turned it up because it was. He said, "Leave it then." So they get a whole, they can ambush from the top too. Actually, ambush from the top. No, I can't do that. Now they're ready for us to go. They're like, thanks, we got what we wanted. Bye bye. You guys can go now. Ray eats his food. Wow. You must have found the right one. Oh, he's babies. Well, you can tell these guys won't have any problems with being fed. I'm going to lay next to you. Thank you. Yep, Twix is going to be a snuggle kitty. That's her. Mine was Boy. Hello, Tails, for sure. <laughs> um, maybe also your home more, Ghosties, that he likes that. Yeah, the new wider ledge is definitely open. They love it, right? Yeah. I can't imagine the room without it. It's Ooh. basically a finger length wider. <gasps> Ooh, he's getting spicy. Yeah, he is. He's like, I'm going to wrestle someone. That was a very gentle love mm -hmm. Oh, he's done. Twix gives my nose love bites. He did that this morning. Yeah, B and Nikita's personalities are very different, but they're pretty much inseparable. What did you say 30 seconds ago to 
Tracy. Oh, I said maybe he's liking um, being you being home more, and that's why he's eating more. Can't ask me to remember what I asked that said 30 seconds ago. <laughs> I don't remember what she said. <laughs> well, my cat's down there, probably. Oh, he likes playing with it upside down. It's more challenging. It's like, he's like killing it. Oh yeah, we wondered, we also wondered if being home is why the weight is home, is more the weight loss? Are they more active? Or part of why on top of fewer treats? They probably just love having people around all day. Yeah, I posted a funny picture on Facebook this evening um, of a cat looking grumpy. It's like, adopt a human, they said. They'll never be home, they said. Come here, Twixie Coo. You got snacks up there? I'm not sure it's worth the effort. I would like some rain. Yeah, we need some. Too much pollen in the air. Also, I don't have to feel guilty about being lazy. Ooh, the canoe has really become a fan favorite. Yeah, they both end up going into it and sleeping. I love how Zuko just plays out like that. His eyes are wide open. And Liz said that she's ordered a cat ball for them to go home in too, but they're back backlogged due to the um, Jennifer making COVID mask. No, certainly he's. Your tummy's all full and you're all relaxed now. He's like, you guys can go. I'm good. I've been fed. So they, looks like their ideal system is three meals a day. Here they get four under the feeder. No, three wet meals, plus whatever is in there. I can't read what that says up there. We had snow this morning, it was really pretty, and no need to shovel since who's going anywhere. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We've had a very long sunny streak here. Very unusual for this time of the year.
which is probably good because people otherwise would be like super cooped up. Good because people otherwise would be like super cooped up. I was wondering that too. Yeah, a friend of mine in in Kansas said that they normally have sunny weather, but now they got been having lots of rain. Gene of the mods. Okay, kiddos, we're going to head out now. I think Jess is about to check out. Mm-hmm. You guys can thank me tomorrow for all your extra food. We'll move him a little closer to the can so it can be really cute. <laughs> Dad! He didn't even move. No. But his face was like wide eyed. He was like, what's going on? It just popped back in hour, 12 hours. Hey, guys, we go to kitties. All right, guys, enjoy the kitties. Have a nice day. Good night. Be safe.